Hey guys, today I'm gonna try freeze drying artichoke. We'll see how it goes. So I took six artichoke, cooked them up, and I am pulling the leaves off, scraping the leaves, and then getting the uh, artichoke arts. I'll see what it turns out to be, or how many trays. It'll probably only fill up one, maybe two trays when it's done, and I don't know, we'll see how it turns out after we freeze dry it. Okay guys, so this is six artichokes. It fills up one tray. I don't think the time spent cooking it and taking it apart and, and uh, getting it set up is worth it. So what I'm gonna do is throw this one tray for six artichokes um, into the freezer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the store, look for some decent artichoke hearts, and then uh, bring them back, cut them up, and freeze dry those. I still think that it'll work, um, but spending the time cooking another 18 <laughs> is not time well spent for me. So I will let you know and talk to you later, bye. <clears throat> hey everybody. The freeze dry cycle just finished. Um, I did not go out and buy a whole bunch of artichokes. Um, I didn't get to the store in time, but I had some salsa that I wanted to freeze. And so since I had the tray of uh, uh, artichokes, I combined it. Not really sure what's gonna happen. They'll probably have kind of a salsa-y type taste. We'll see what happens, but it just finished. So I wanted to show you as it comes out. So here is the artichoke. Woo. It does smell a little bit salsa y, but that's fine. And uh, looks like it's all done. And just to show you, this is salsa. Just pour it right on the tray freeze dry it. Um, this makes it so nice to be able to create your own salsa and then um, you can rehydrate it or use it as a seasoning over things like you would um, salt and pepper or something. But all right. It looks all done. I'm going to uh, pull it out, take it inside and we'll continue from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the artichoke into the blender and I'm going to make a powder out of it. That way I can use it in drinks or whatever. I haven't uh, decided exactly how I'm going to use it just yet, but um, it's a fun little experiment. The salsa, I think I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, you'll still be able to rehydrate it. It'll be salsa. Um, I might leave one of the, so if you look at it, um, if you can see it here, this one's a little bit chunkier. These two are, and this one's more pureed when it was made. So this one will work out pretty good. Um, blending it up and making like a spice shaker out of it. The other ones, uh, I might do that to one. The other one, I'll probably just leave it and break it up into pieces for rehydration later, for dipping or whatever we have. So here we go. I forgot to put the blades in. So that whole tray amounted to about one cup 
of powder. Okay, so I got a jar full of artichoke with uh, just a little bit left over in a bag that I'll use. Um, I might just use this as a dip uh, mixed up with some mayonnaise, see what happens with that. And then I have crushed up um, some, one of the salsas that I'm going to be using as a spice. And the other ones uh, that are left I am just going to put into Mylar bags. This one was fun that it, uh, I broke that, but it lifted up as one piece. But um, yeah, so let me know if there's something you would like to see me freeze dry and, uh, and try out or anything else. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. I um, hope you have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.